on my way out to school now, and you know it's been nice the past you know a few days or something. Guess what? It's all rain. Well, I mean it was raining yet like last night and stuff and such, but other nights and such. But it's been warm out too. Now it's like chilly out. It's like the highest most today is like for like 47 or something like that. So it's not the greatest of weather. And last night, I also uh, started signing for some classes because, first of all, I signed for child psych because I failed it twice now. And I had to sign for speech class because I failed that once already. So I need to make sure I get a good teacher. I asked like on Facebook, like, who's a really good teacher at ECC for uh, speech class? And like, oh, uh, Long or um, Anderson. I'm like, well, I'll sign up for. I signed up for Anderson, I believe, from like 9.30 to 10.45 class or something. And he only has three classes, so maybe it'll be a little bit easier because he's not, doesn't, he's not like extremely used to it or whatever because he's not, you know, doing everything all at once. So, let's we'll see about that one. And also, my child psych class, there were two, well, there was one teacher I had no, I've, I've never heard of her, so I signed up for her immediately. And then there was also one that said, to be announced. And I'm like, well, I just signed up for it anyway, because I'm like, I really, I mean, depending upon who the teacher is, I will take that person, but if it's not the right teacher, I'm not going to take it. I mean, if it's Hutman again, I'm not going to take it. Hutman was the worst teacher ever. I mean, don't get me wrong, she's a good teacher, but she just, she just believes in herself too much. She's like, I am the best of the best. I am Dr. Hutman. I will teach you beyond what you need to know. So, I just hated her so much. And then Carpenter, oh my gosh. She wasn't worse, she was a little better, but I mean, she wasn't all full of herself like that or how was. Oh my gosh, terrible. All right, so the guy at uh, the little intersection over there, like directing traffic, so he was doing this with his hands. Like wave, waving himself off and then going like that, going like that, it's like, Seriously, dude, just like with your hands, go like that. Either that way or that way, whichever, because you, they can't go straight because they're doing construction. No wonder, like, the lady, like, down the other way was, like, looking at him kind of weird, like, like the other one that was directing traffic. Or she was, like, looking at him really weird. Anyway. Oh, I know, you guys just saw me, like, a little bit ago, just going to school, and now I'm just leaving from school. I really didn't feel like doing much footage, right? at school. It's just been such a gloomy day out. I mean, it was raining this morning. It's still raining out. See the windshield? Not looking very nice and all. It's just not, just not a very nice day. Uh, just been kind of like uh, moping around and stuff. I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like doing that. I don't feel like going there. I don't feel like going there. Just, just kind of relax a little bit. Hey, what's going on? Hey, uh, heading out now to go to um, band at ECC, and I'm driving the big, huge, gigantic truck. This is like way, way high up than what I'm used to. I don't know if you guys can see. That's like that's pretty high up. I mean, I just I actually got to step up to get into the car or to get in the truck at least. It's pretty fun though. I mean, I kind of like driving it because it's kind of still, you know, still just a little bit different. I mean, it's got my V8 too, which I love, but it doesn't go very fast because it's got tons and tons of tools in the back. So, oh well. At least I got to drive someone else that's different. So that's the truck I'm driving. It's a big old monster truck. Don't you think? Okay, I just got out of band and heading out back to home here shortly. The truck warms up a little bit more than it is now. Anyway, I just want to tell you guys, I had the strangest dream, like, last night. Okay, so this is what happened. I was in a dream. We were out canoeing. We stopped, right, to set up camp and stuff. Some of us were sleeping outside. Some were sleeping inside. Over the night, over the evening, we would fell asleep. We woke up the next morning, and, like, someone's bag was bitten, like, or, like, this, or, like a stump or something was bitten full of like alligator bites. We're like, oh my gosh, it's so scary. So there are so all these like alligators around us like when we were sleeping, we didn't know it. So the next night, or well, that morning then, 
we're all like, we had these hacksaw blades. And we're like, if the alligators come and attack us, we're gonna take the hacksaw blades and you strip and you scrape it across his back. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's freaky. So I was pretty much attacked by alligators in my dream. I mean, I fell asleep, but then I woke up in real life. So I didn't really have an actual alligator attack. Anyway, that's all I got for now, because I gotta go to home and this truck ain't doing, I mean, it does well, but it just ain't, ain't a vlogging truck necessarily. It's too high up, I'm not quite used to it yet. If I was used to it, I'd be able to vlog with it, but I ain't used to it much. So I'll see you tomorrow.